video and photos have emerged showing for the first time an underground Iranian ballistic missile facility, in which groups of missiles ready to fire are moved around massive tunnels using an automated railway-type system. The vertically stowed missile magazine appears to bring groups of missiles into position for rapid, consecutive launching from the cavernous subterranean bunker. On its YouTube channel, the quasi-official Iran Military Achievements Media states that Agon's carrying ballistic and long-range missiles can create continuous shooting conditions in this platform. The same source adds that the quantity and continuity of the missile fire will increase impressively. The location of the facility seen in the latest imagery is unconfirmed, but Iran is known to have built underground caves to protect ballistic missiles operated by its Revolutionary Guards Corps in the past. Previously, imagery from within these caves showed long lines of ballistic missiles sitting on launchers, a process that now seems to have been refined, or at the very least augmented, using the automated railway system. The thinking behind the system seems to be to allow launches of ballistic missiles in quick succession. Since the missiles on their individual platforms are ready to fire, there is no need to reload individual launchers using a crane or transloader. The magazine method would potentially allow many more missiles to be fired from a single bunker while increasing the chances of the outbound missile strike overwhelming anti-ballistic missile defenses. The new method is also much more space-efficient. While previously, bulky conventional transporter erector launchers tells would be parked and moved under the firing apertures in the cavern ceiling, using this new approach, Iran could potentially massively increase the number of missiles stowed in each underground complex. Some of the tunnels in which the rail-mounted missiles are being transported also look too narrow to accommodate conventional tells or towed launchers. The concept seems also to be broadly aligned with Iran recently announced ISIL farms, in which short-range ballistic missiles are hidden in buried launchers to help reduce their vulnerability to preemptive strikes. In the case of the railway missile magazine, however, the weapons themselves have been identified by analysts as EMED liquid fuel, medium-range ballistic missiles MRBM, a derivative of the Shayim 3. The EMED is reported to have a range of around 1,000 miles and is considered to be capable of carrying a nuclear warhead if such a capability existed. The EMED missile was apparently developed around a new re-entry vehicle RV fitted with fins to give it increased maneuverability, accuracy, and additional stability. In a wartime scenario, it might be expected that the fueled and ready-to-launch EMEDs would be fired first, with the aim of getting as many as possible into the air during a first strike, before their underground facility was destroyed. While the imagery shows the missiles being raised into the vertical on their multi-round launch platforms and then moved around within underground tunnels, it is unclear how they would actually be fired. Normally, Iranian missile caves like this have ports in the roof through which the missiles are launched. These facilities are thought to have a number of launch chambers. Intriguingly, Hins also points out an interesting parallel to Nazi Germany rail-mounted V-2 Prars 4 ballistic missile system and how those weapons were fueled. He highlights how the Iranian missile complex shares similarities with the La Coupole bunker that was constructed by the Germans in northern France as an underground V-2 launch facility during World War II. Other observers have pointed to the writing on the side of the missiles, which seems to read UAE. However, some of the lettering that follows this has been obscured with a placard and there no other evidence to suggest that it refers to potential targets in the United Arab Emirates. It is possible that the missiles are pre-programmed for their intended targets for expediency and launched in groups at those collocated targets in an attempt to overwhelm missile defense systems. Above all else, 
This new missile launch system reveals that the country is clearly interested in expanding and improving its already extensive underground missile facilities that, in the case of a full-scale conflict, would likely be one of Tehran's primary means of striking an early blow against its enemies.